So I'm Jeremy Wilner, I'm Program Director of Basketball Club Rhode Island. We started Basketball Club Rhode Island at the end of 2019. We had everything ready to go, tryouts, everything set up, and boom, everything came crashing down with COVID. Picked it back up in the summer and we took off from there. So it's been about just about two years now this winter. And it's really clicking from all cylinders. So. The whole family atmosphere, I think that's definitely like the biggest part about DCRI. I think uh, to this day, I'm still close with, with my AAU teammates. Uh, I think that like some of the teams that I was, that I was on were, were some of the closest teams I've ever been a part of. Um, and it's just like the coach, you can tell like the coaches really care about you. Like everybody gets along, there's no feuds and stuff. And I think that that's like a really special thing. So that's definitely, definitely the best part about BCRI. I remember this one game we had, we, we were, came, we got hit hard by this team and they took us the whole game, mostly winning by a lot, a good margin compared to us. And, um, I remember Coach Powell was telling us, like, don't give up now. Like, put everything on the court up until the last buzzer rings. And that's what we did. And we came down, hit up, I think, a big three to give us a big lead. And then we ended up stealing the ball to seal the game. And I thought that was one of our uh, favorite games that we ever played in. I'd say definitely just, I guess, like, being able to accomplish my, my dream of playing college basketball and just having the coaches there literally every single step of the way. Um, I'd say definitely just the constant communication with the college coaches, um, marketing their players is definitely my favorite part about, uh, about BCRI for sure. Um, I don't know. It, it, they, they, they help you accomplish your dreams. So that was, that was definitely a special special thing for me uh my favorite thing is definitely having that one game where the whole team just uh clicks together and then uh that one game even if it's like early on or late you just stay together during practices all friends all chatting and stuff and you just stay together through each uh each and every tournament no matter uh win or loss last year our first our first inaugural class graduating 12 kids going to college from ranging from division one to division three kids at all levels academically at the highest academic levels parker being one of them at babson and i'd say program wide definitely the i think it's 21 or 22 players in rhode island last year that were selected to an all league team in the interscholastic league which was very rewarding for us and made us feel like we were doing something right and we had the right kids in our program and Every time we went out there and watched high school games, we the kids who held themselves high are usually the kids we want in BCRI. As we all go to different, most of us go to different schools and play against each other in high school, and just being able to put all of us together on one team, it just feels like we're almost unstoppable together. As we can like use our own chemistry together to win games as GX out too. So yes, yeah, getting back in the court with my friends would probably be. I'd say just listen to what, what, what the coaches tell you. Um, it sounds cliche, but truthfully, they have your best interest. Um, I don't think that, like, for me, I didn't realize exactly how much they cared about me until I had left. And I was, like, looking back and seeing, wow, well, they did that and they did that and that. But um, if you just listen to them, like, they're, you're going to improve your game a lot. Uh, you're going to have a lot more fun uh, and you're going to be set up to play in college. So I'd definitely just say, listen, listen, listen to what they say because they've done this a few times. So I'd say definitely just listen. Our biggest thing is academics. We we have a thing where we are not going to take a kid on one of our top, our A teams, if they're not having a good enough GPA it's, or if they not have ambition to play at an academic school. So that, that's what we're really looking for, and it's setting themselves up. It's way bigger than basketball. Inspiration for doing what we do, it's way beyond the wins, the losses. It really comes down to the, all these players and the players in the program to offering them the opportunity to get to be able to play college basketball, to get to go play basketball twice a week and then go play five games on the weekend. Because a lot of players don't have that. A lot of parts, even in this country, you don't have that opportunity. 
and it, it's really just offering it. It's, it's making the best out of it and cultivating a system and a family atmosphere where these kids love to come.